Oh my god, we're doing a vlog. Hello my lovely vapies, welcome back. Let's dive right into this vape vlog. Yes, so today we are doing a vape vlog. I know it has been a while and I know I've said that almost every vape vlog for the last like five vape vlogs in a row. I used to do my vape vlogs weekly, but it's getting harder to have more like enough content in a vape vlog. You know, I usually do questions and shout outs and little vlog portions of stuff that I do like off camera when I'm not reviewing. So my schedule on that has kind of changed. I hope you guys don't mind too much. And before we get into this vlog, I did want to bring up a little bit of advocacy. For the last couple weeks, I have been adding it in at the end of my videos, but since this is just a fun vlog and it's not about like a specific product or e-liquid, I did want to mention that if you are vaping and you love your vape and you love your e-liquids, because you know, I love my vape, let's be real, then you need to do your part and fight for your right to vape because the deeming FDA regulations, if you haven't heard of them, you might be living under a rock. There is a multitude of vaping advocacy videos out there from other vape YouTubers and there's vape advocacy groups that you can join like CASA and Not Blowing Smoke org the ava and esfata there is a bunch of places where you can go and learn how to fight for your right to vape basically we need to support hr 2058 and the cole bishop amendment this is where you need to call your state representatives and urge them to support the things that will save the vaping industry because the deeming regulations that are set in place are going to regulate this industry out of existence as we know it i will leave a bunch of helpful links below in a little advocacy section i always have it but i'll put it to the top of the description so you can click on any of those links and check out any of those groups and one more thing I wanted to mention so I woke up this morning to find out that the video I did yesterday for Pure Ocean Vapor Club that company no longer exists as so many of you guys were telling me that the link does not work Thank you. I, I hear you loud and clear. I'm sorry guys. I found out this morning after so many people were like, oh my god, the link doesn't work, that it does not exist anymore. And like I kept I could find them on Twitter, like their old Twitter account, but I couldn't get a hold of anybody from that company. So I'm just assuming they're gone. And at the end of that video, as so many of you guys mentioned, there was about three minutes of blankness with just the background music that I had in that video. And that was my fault in editing because I am learning a new editing software. I went from Windows to Mac and so I'm learning that and I let you guys know on Twitter and I think Facebook that my videos might have a few more mistakes than usual while I'm still learning because it was like a huge learning curve and it's, it takes me hours to edit still but I'm getting the hang of it. What sucks is I did a quality control check of the video once I was done editing I watched it all the way the way through and the last thing I do is add the music and so when I added the music the music was longer than the actual video length that never happened to me when I was using Windows so that's something I have to learn to check on a Mac is that the music will keep going because on Windows the music would stop where the video stopped if there was no more video but no more footage you know but on a Mac it the song plays for longer if it needs to and then there's just blackness and I had no idea. So anyways, let's get started in this vape vlog. So usually I like to start these vape vlogs with my e-liquid of the week, but that's when I was doing vape vlogs weekly and I'm not really doing them weekly anymore. I haven't done them weekly in a while. It's more like one or two a month and so I still want to keep that little segment. It's just not e-liquid of the week because it's multiple weeks sometimes two or three weeks of e-liquid that I might want to bring to your attention. So instead, I'm just going to tell you guys, like, from the last time I did a vape vlog, what new e-liquid I looked at that I really enjoyed. So I have a couple. The first one is a peach flavor, and it is by 7th Street Vapor. It is so good, but I really like peach vapes. I'm having, like, a peach kick right now. I think it's the summertime because peach is really refreshing and sweet at the same time. So I really liked their peach flavor. I also really liked the Berry Yo Cake from Unreal E-Liquid. It's the ones that came in the can. It is a New York style berry cheesecake and it is so freaking good. And I don't actually have any of these bottles. I used to save them and like show you guys but I'll like put pop-ups or something for them on the screen because it was a long time since those bottles were empty and they got thrown out and I've been trying to purge my vape room of vape stuff because I just have so much and not the like all the older stuff. The new stuff that I have I have saved for my 100,000 subscriber giveaway that should be coming up maybe next month. I will be doing a live stream for the first time 
Oh, where was I going with that? Okay, anyways, that kind of just went off topic, sorry. But yeah, I'll be doing a live stream giveaway if, and I have so much stuff and I haven't decided exactly like what I'm gonna do but I know I'm gonna do a giveaway while live streaming here on YouTube and I'll probably be doing like a practice live stream but I'm not gonna like announce when that's going on because it's just gonna be a practice one so I know what I'm doing for my actual 100,000 subscriber celebration so yeah anyways um, okay so I got those two and then the next one will probably be my favorite and I actually do have it but it's not in here because when I really really like an e-liquid it goes out to the desk where I edit and so that's where that bottle is. It is Vintage Hyper Sweet by Bonsai Vapor. I did a Bonsai Vapor video for their VG High collection and I've tried the Vintage Hyper Sweet before at Indoor Smoker's house from his bottle and I really 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 liked it and then I have my own bottle and it's so freaking good it's like a super intense red vine flavor oh my gosh and I like red licorice flavors anyway and so having it like be really intense in a vape is super yummy to me and I will leave a link below to those three e-liquids that I really enjoyed if you're interested in checking them out for yourself I'm gonna have a vape and then we're gonna move on to questions and shout outs I have some here from you guys all right, Kathleen says, when will you get your knee box and make a video for it? What? <laughs> I've had my knee box for like over six months. Maybe you're talking about the new one? I'm not sure, but go ahead and let me know what you meant because I, I, I think we talked on Twitter about the knee box before, maybe. I might be wrong. I talked to a lot of people on Twitter. If you want to chat with me at any time, Go over to Twitter, get a Twitter and follow me. But this is my knee box and I've had it for a really long time. Well, this this one I haven't had as long. I had my blue one since November. I still have it, but I like love this color and this drip tip combination together. Look at this. It's this super pretty gold drip tip that I got from Double Helix Designs. I just used my phone to focus my camera. So let me know, Kathleen, if you meant the actual knee box because I have uh, video for it already and in the one month update I have a couple videos for it and I'm using it in almost every single one of my videos since I got it but um anyways next we have Melanie and she says how much liquid do you go through on a typical day well I have my two knee boxes and they're both 10 milliliters and my knee box lasts me about three days but I do have other vapes that I use so probably cl you know, close to three mils a day. I'm not a heavy vapor. I used to vape a lot more. But with my knee boxes and the yummy flavors, I just can't put it down sometimes. Next we have Nika Hat. I think that's how you say it. What are you looking at in all of your thumbnails? Um, so... <laughs> I make my thumbnails usually in the beginning of the video or at the end if I forget and since my camera has a viewfinder you know I'm honestly I'm probably looking at myself to make sure everything is like in the thumbnail the way I want it should I look somewhere else should I look like at the camera instead of at the viewfinder Diffused Ray says, I'm brand new to this channel and I love it. Well, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. Are you new to vaping as well? Let me know down in the comments, Diffused Ray. I'd love to hear from you, hear what your story is, since you're new to this vape fam. Zarif says, what was the small disposable testing atomizer she was talking about? Um, in my e-liquid videos, I usually use an RDA to test my flavors, but I show these little drip atomizer barrels. Here, it's actually right here. And it is just a 510 dripping atomizer barrel, and I leave a link below in all of my videos in my favorite section for this, because I think it's great for beginners, because all you have to do is put a couple drops of the e-liquid in there, and you get a couple puffs of the flavor, and they're disposable, and they're just easy to use. You know, you just need a drip tip for it and a 510 device but they're just called 510 drip dripping atomizers and I will link below. Riley says hello my lovely vapies. No vapies. Jennifer says Tia are you going to review the new Kangertech Cup T 75 watt? I am so stoked. I cannot wait to get it and it's coming out in this pink color that looks so pretty that I'm so excited to. It kind of matches the pink color of the Plato by Aspire that I have here but that did not work as well for me as the knee box so like I my loyalties did not change when the Plato came out but I'm really excited because it's kind of like the knee box version too but it does have a half the size of a tank which isn't too bad because like 10 mils is still a huge tank five is great we shall see I'm super excited though to get it CJ says want to go on a date 
first of all, are you related to that kid who tried to impersonate me to get free stuff because you have the same last name? And second, Patricia says, Tia, I think you should know that you have turned me into the vape person and I've completely stopped smoking just by watching your videos and trying the juices that you show. Congratulations to you, Patricia. How long have you been completely smoke free? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what e-liquid you're using. Since you've tried the ones that I've showed, I'd love to hear what you are loving. I hope it's one of my favorites. And welcome to the vape fam. This vape's for you. Alright, now it is time. It's a little bit late, <laughs> but I'm going to be announcing 13, 14 winners right now. 10 winners for the Old Fashioned Elixirs e-liquid line, 3 winners for the Bonsai Vapor giveaway, and 1 winner for the Cool Fire 4 18650 Travel Vape Kit. So first I'm going to show you guys the picking of the 10 winners for the OFE e-liquid line. The company will be sending them out directly, and all you will need to do if you're a winner is reply to my comment on your original comment. So I, if you see your username in this next little clip, I will be replying to that comment and we can discuss how you're going to prove you're 18 years or older because all my giveaways are 18 plus and you have to show proof of age so we can discuss all that when you reply to my reply. Right, it is time to pick the last winners for the Old Fashioned Elixirs e-liquid line. I am picking 10 winners. In order to win, your comment has to include what you're absolutely loving. If you were loving an e-liquid or a device, that was the requirement to comment below because this was on my May favorites video. So I wanted to know what your favorites was. So let's go. Winner number one. Winner number two. Winner number three. Um, winner number f should that be is that a winning comment, you guys? Like I asked them what they're loving. No. Not a winning comment. Comment. Winner. Winner. So congratulations to the 10 winners. Thank you so much for watching my channel and participating in my giveaways. I love to give back to you guys, especially when the company wants to do like a big giveaway. I have picked 30 winners for the OFE e-liquid line. That's freaking awesome. All right, now I'm going to show you guys the winners for the Bonsai Vapors e-liquid. Three people get a coupon for $20 off, which is a free bottle of their choice from bonsaivapors.com. And the winner for the Cool Fire 4 TC18650 travel kit and a thrown-in iSub V for it since the kit actually doesn't come with one. It's a travel kit. All right, now we are picking the winner for the Inakin Cool Fire TC18650 There's only gonna be one winner. All you had to do was comment and tell me what you thought of the extra addition to the Cool Fire 4 family. And Nathan Campbell, Campbell thinks it's a great idea. Congratulations, Nathan. Now on to this one, where I'm gonna be picking three winners to win a bottle of Bonsai Vapors e-liquid of their choice. And there will be three winners from this one. Oh, I gotta switch hands, my arm's getting tired up. Winner number one. Winner number two. And winner number three, yay. So congratulations to all 14 winners picked here today. I hope to hear back from most of you, if not all of you, but it's actually very rare that I announce a big group of winners and hear from everybody. So please, please go back and check your comment if it is a winning comment and claim your prize. So the weekend of the 20th of May, I went over to bonsaivapors.com to hang out and film with them and you guys have seen the videos, the bloopers, I already put them, but I also vlogged while I was there and so I wanted to show you guys the vlog footage like it's from like start to finish of the weekend there and I had a lot of fun again I love all the people over at Bonsai Vapors shout out to all you guys you are awesome especially Maddie Brandon Nick Chris and Addie those were the people that were there when I went they were all so awesome and nice so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog footage I had a lot of fun doing it 
Hey guys, so I told myself I wasn't going to vlog from my phone anymore, but <laughs> I can't help it. It's just a lot easier to whip out my phone than it is to whip out my actual camera. And I can't hold it because it's like plugged in, so well, now we're upside down maybe. Anyways, I'm about an hour and a half away from the hotel we're staying at for the weekend. I am going to be hanging out with Bonsai Vapor tomorrow. I'm so excited to hang out with the people from Bonsai Vapor. I'm so nervous, you know, like with my social anxiety, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna do some videos and also do like a photo shoot because I'm going to be in Vape Magazine. I'm so excited. I am collabing with them with an ad for their e-liquid since if you don't know, they make my favorite flavor ever, which is Pound It. It is so freaking good. And so that is what we're doing and I will have more to vlog later, but um, I did vlog earlier this morning, but then I accidentally erased that and when um, I was doing today's video from the same um, SD card because I was actually trying to use my camera to vlog. And yeah, so I accidentally deleted that footage, but it was just me like this morning before I got my roots done because I got my hair done today, of course, for the photo shoot. and. Uh, didn't redo the pink just because it's it's all right. It can be a light color like that. Oh, and I got my nails done yesterday. I didn't vlog that though. But um, so I'm all ready and I got some new outfits. I'm so excited and nervous. <laughs> So we finally made it and what's so funny is there are two hotel casinos with the same name as where we're staying at and so we went to the wrong one at first and couldn't find like where to go to the hotel so then we finally figured it out I was told that there are two places so now we're at this one and then we're like wondering where we park and we're like going all around the parking lot to find out that we were in the wrong parking lot so we finally made it, found a parking spot. No, this is good. Look at, look at guys, where am I? Oh look, parking garage. So, made it to the hotel and we're having dinner with Maddie. Hey, anyway. Hey, what's the score, man? Hey, where, where's the place called? <laughs> Tattoo restaurant. Matt's got it. Matt's got it handled. So I'm gonna have some almond chicken and drink some of my wine. Oh, good morning, guys. It is Saturday, the 21st. I'm not sure. I'm a little bit hungover, like a little bit. Got a little bit of headache. Got to the hotel late last night and then went out and had some drinks with Maddie from Bonsai Vapor and her boyfriend and it was really super fun. They are super awesome. So now we're just going to go have breakfast before my get, I get my hair and makeup done. She wasn't even looking and we'll go from there. I just really need some ibuprofen. Well, I'm in Sephora. Maddie is somewhere and I'm going to be getting my makeup done for the shoot because Let's be honest, my skills are mediocre at best. So I wanted somebody, like a person who does makeup for a living to do my makeup. Here is 
the final look done by Brittany at Sephora. It's a Tacoma mold on that Hey! Oh, oh no. battery already. It's okay, it's still. I didn't charge it overnight. So, yeah. Oh, there's the cave. Now we have to go on to hair. At the salon, about to get my hair did. So excited. Look at this. I don't know, just keep it like this, guys. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, yeah. Getting it going. Alright, hair is done. We'll just piece it out. What are you doing? I'm fucking up. Let me get to this shoe. Oh my god, I love it. So but I gotta, had to get, have to get an umbrella because it's raining. And there's the umbrella. Yay! <laughs> He's shy. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here at Bonsai Vapor. I'm so excited. Let's go in. So this is Chris, the maker of Pounded. I was so excited to meet you. I love that flavor, you guys Thank know. You. So I'm here at Bonsai, as you guys have seen earlier in the vlog, but like, I just had to show you, this is the genius behind my favorite flavor. Oh my God, it's great, it's great. <laughs> What you're gonna make out of this? <laughs> well, it's gonna be a, a, I mean, a trip. No, it's gonna, yeah. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. all, that's like the most people that have ever seen me. Ever. <laughs> what? Yeah. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh. It's so yeah. Fun. Super fun. Dude. So this is Brandon, one of the owners of Bonsai Vapor, no. one of my fave e-liquids, oh. and I've had so much fun. It's been so much fun. I've had a blast too. I gotta be honest, I didn't know how you were gonna be. <laughs> Because you never know. People you can be, be a diva. I didn't know if it was like a diva or if you were going to be like more of a rock star. Like I didn't know like what kind of expectations you were going to have. So well, that was me. I was like, oh my god, what are they expecting from me? Like, what if I'm not what they're expecting? Or like, can I disappoint? No, <laughs> no, 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 it's right? been super fun. And the Maddie's like, it, it won't be too bad. Like they don't know who you are. Right. <laughs> I know who you are. Well, you better. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm promoting yeah. your brand. There's the inner diva I, I was worried about. No. <laughs> the only diva part was like, I needed my makeup and I needed my hair. No, but All that's like any girl, female, you're, you know. <laughs> Honestly, if I could afford makeup and, a, and if I had hair, I would, I would do it. But yeah, definitely yeah. what's up. You know, <laughs> I would just like to say thank you to all of Tia's supporters for, you know, getting her to where she is and just making this wonderful young woman uh, a part of the vape community. And I just think it's amazing what you do. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And thank you it for making awesome flavors. Awesome. <laughs> Great. All right.
right guys so I hope you enjoyed that vlog footage now what vape vlog of mine would be complete without another giveaway so maybe you guys have heard of the limited edition chrome style cool fire 4 TC 100 this is 100 watt device chrome edition let me open mine because of course i gotta have one because it has my logo on it and i'm going to be giving away one on this video for you guys and just like any of my giveaways you have to be 18 years or older and be able to prove it you have to be subscribed oh it's so shiny you have to be subscribed to this channel you have to share this video anywhere on social media then give it a thumbs up check it out and then comment down below where you're from and what your favorite e-liquid manufacturer is. Mine, I would just have to say it's Bonsai Vapors, man. I mean, they're home state. They make amazing e-liquid. They're great people. Definitely my favorite e-liquid company. So again, if you want to win your own Cool Fire 4 TC 100 limited edition chrome with the Tia, wow, it got dark, with the Tia Vapes logo on it, the old logo, they didn't get my new one. There are only five rules and regulations. Be 18, be subscribed, share, like, and comment down below where you're from and who your favorite e-liquid maker is. Good luck to everybody. Oh my god, I was gonna put this on, you guys. I totally forgot. I wanted to say a big thank you and a big shout out to Miss Cloud Charms, I believe over on Instagram or Twitter. No, Instagram. When I was over at Bonsai Vapors, they had this table of fun stuff for me, as you probably saw in the vlog, and these were on there. This is a pink coil necklace. I think it is so pretty. I have an iridescent one, too, that's actually hanging up on my jewelry hanger because I, like, wore that one first. But look at it, and they make they come in all colors, and they're so cute, and I was going to wear it. Darn it, I totally forgot. There, it's on, but... The wire is kind of stiff right now because it hasn't, haven't been wearing it, so. But they're super cute. You can get different types of chains and then different colors. And I wanted to say thank you so much to Miss Cloud Charms for... Alright, now is a portion of the vlog where I like to spotlight an e-liquid. This is when a company sends me only one flavor. Because I don't want to make an entire video that's only two minutes long for one flavor when I have so many e-liquid lines to get to. So I like to spotlight single flavors in my vlogs. And this is from Vista Vapors. Now I have a video for Vista Vapors already and I may have tried this flavor. But it's such an old video because it was so long ago that I tried these. And since then they have changed their recipe. So I'm going to try this honeydew flavor it's just honeydew oh my god it has my name on it I did this is the first time I'm looking at it this is Tia's honeydew oh that's so nice of them to put my name on the label I love stuff like that I'm a sucker for stuff like that anyways mm, it smells like honeydew now I have kind of gotten sick of honeydew vapes because I was obsessed with honeydew vapes when I back a couple years and when I first was vaping it was one of my favorite flavors but um we'll see since it's a new recipe it's been quite a minute it's been a hot minute since I've had a honeydew all right here we go it has a 20% boost so I'm guessing that's a flavor boost not that bad it's honeydew. It's really a fresh honeydew too. It's not like a super sweet candy, like syrupy, thick honeydew that, I do, like that I'm getting sick of. I'm really impressed with the smoothness of it. I remember, if I remember correctly, Vista Vapor, back when I first tried their first recipe, it was a little harsh to me. But it's also newer to vaping anyway, but this is definitely a great vape, great as in smooth and flavorful. I honestly, I was like expecting to be like honeydew because I just I don't like honeydew vapes just because I like made myself sick on them. You know, when you eat something too much or drink something too much and then you just can't drink it anymore. Like back in high school, all I used to drink on weekends were screwdrivers if I went to a party, which is vodka and orange juice. And now I can't even drink orange juice for breakfast. Definitely a thumbs up and I would love to try more of their 
flavors on this new recipe but I will leave a link below to their website as well in the description so that's it for the vlog I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids mods etc you can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram Twitter or Facebook I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload random videos so if you want to see more of me that's not vape related you can check out that channel please don't forget to join kasa.org and follow all the other vaping advocacy sites like notblowingsmoke.org, the AVA, SFATA, to fight for your right to vape. So with that being said, I'm Tia Vapes, and thank you so much for watching. You guys okay with one or two vlogs a month? Because, like, literally, I don't think I can do them every week anymore.